Right. Hello and welcome to Unscripted. Uh, hope you're all keeping well, healthy, positive, uh, and looking out for yourselves and your families. Thank you for joining us. Um, topic for today's discussion is teams and teams exploration. Once again, I'm joined by Nicola. Hey, Nicola. Hello. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, so we are going to jump right into the session, starting with the website. So uh, uh, once again, it's jobsfornationals.com. Nicola, I hope you can see the website. I've done the screen share. Yes, thank you. It's all clear. So, so as soon as you get to the jobsfornationals.com uh, website, uh, you need to scroll to go down to employers and then scroll down to uh, employer solutions where you will find team exploration. So I'm going to click team exploration. That'll open a new pop-up window and take you to this page. And um, we'll be talking about how to build dynamic teams, how to understand um, individual contributions. So uh, Nicola, First question right off the bat is, uh, what is the difference between a group and a team? Oh, and a very good question, and one that a lot of people are gonna go like, what are you talking about? Yeah. A group is a collection of individuals who coordinate their individual efforts, so they're taking care of themselves. On the other hand, a team is a group of people that share a common team purpose. They, are a, they have a number of challenging goals and the members of the team are mutually committed to the success of the team and each other. Okay, so um, does that mean that teams are, are more effective than groups? Very, very definitely, very definitely. If when you have a, if you have a team, then you're going to be more successful at completing goals, uh, reaching targets, reaching timelines, uh, deliverables, etc. Teams are, have been proven to be more effective because everyone is working independently toward the shared goal or outcome. So they're all using their preferred behaviors in order to complement each other, right. in order to, to reach the team goal in a timely, effective, efficient manner. Success. So as soon as I scroll down, the first slide that comes through, it talks about promoting teamwork, team performance, and raising awareness. Um, will the users or employers be able to raise awareness through this? Yeah, very, again, very definitely. Um, when a team is performing together with their preferred behaviors and not their least preferred or avoided behaviors, then they can support each other much more effectively and, and again, efficiently. When people are working to something they like, they have passion for, then they are, they're, they're gonna be more successful. And that then leads into contentment, satisfaction and, and happiness. Okay. So you could have, again, depending on the size of the team, mm -hmm. then you may have a couple of, you may have a, a, we've got eight dimensions with prism brain mapping. So you may have eight different individuals with right. eight of the dimensions, or you might have someone who has more of innovating and less of initiating, but another member is more initiating and more uh, evaluating, for example. So is there- But it complements. Right, so is there such a thing as team optimization? Oh, very definitely. If, if people are working together and supporting each other, then there's less opportunity for dissonance, less opportunity for sabotage, and you don't have conflict, you have resolution. So when people are all going towards the same direction and understand each other's preferred behaviors, they are going to take more care of each other in order to make sure they reach the required target goal deliverable. So in, in, in a layman's term, how can you optimize your team performance? Uh, a, a very good question. You, you need to ensure that you have the right 
team members and the right team leader. And this can change depending on any given situation. So you may recruit somebody into an organization and they may be part of a team which could be operating in silos. So you recruit into a team or you have a situation, a scenario where you pull together people from different departments or different um, offices, different provinces to right. put together a team to work on a specific project. So you need to optimize your team members in order to ensure success, timely, efficient, effective results. If you don't get the right team leader, right, who will facilitate the team members, then you may have an underperforming team and you could also have an overperforming team that they are too good and you don't need them to be that good. You need them to be enough. So okay. again, it's about how you lead and how you manage, how you facilitate. Right, right, right. I mean, Leadership what is, is critical. Sure. So well, I'm just going to sideline because you mentioned one of the things about putting teams together. And I had a call last week from one of the clients. Uh, and uh, what they're doing is they're trying to pull different uh, members from different teams uh, and creating a COVID-19 response team. Uh, and I think something like this would be an ideal uh, for that situation where people who ne don't necessarily have HSC or a safety background experience mm. uh, are being pulled together now to create a COVID-19 team from different groups. Uh, and, you know, this absolutely. probably will help them. Well, absolutely. And if you look at the screen, that's uh, the shared screen at the moment, you can see yeah. sort of the left side of the brain where you've got the evaluating and finishing in the gold quadrant, cautious, methodical, precise, thorough, analytical and shrewd. And then in the, the drive, the red quadrant, you've got forceful, decisive, hard driving, demanding, challenging, and competitive. Competitive. Yeah. And you need, in something like COVID, you need a quick response. You don't need a perfect response. You need a quick response and to be reevaluating all the time. And we can't see the kind of expressive and stability side of the brain there right. on this diagram. But again, all of these different preferred behaviors come into play when you're trying to have a functioning team that's going to be successful. So optimization, very definitely. So this brings me to my next question, which is about leadership. How important is a leader to the team's performance? Right. Well, again, Sometimes people are given leadership roles because of their titles, not because of their behaviors, aptitudes or core traits. So it's very important to get the right match of people. So you facilitate um, the best from everybody and you yourself capitalize on that to take the team forward. You don't have to be the leader but right. you may be the facilitator, certainly not a manager in this situation. The leader is leading from the front. And the next logical question is that how important is it to have uh, different behaviors in your team? Well, again, because if you don't, if you have, let's look at, let's take the middle map. If you have everybody who's in the green quadrant, they're all innovative, they're all initiating, mm -hmm. then they'll be halfway up Burj Khalifa without <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> checking their oxygen supply and have they got the right, um, the right, the right clothes, the right passwords, the right, uh, all, all the different requirements. Right. So they're already, like, let me use Kilimanjaro instead of Khalifa. So they won't okay. have done their oxygen <laughs> testing and, and and they'll be off. Whereas if you have everybody who's blue mm -hmm. coordinating and supporting, they'll all still be sitting there saying, is the AC blowing on your neck? Are you comfortable? Can I, uh, would you like to sit over here? And then the red people, the delivery and focus will be like, you, 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 you go and do this and do it now. Right. And right. the gold people, the uh, evaluating and uh, finishing, they won't have, uh, they'll still be planning their approach before the time is up. 
So you need a good mixture of all these people so that they're playing off each other's preferred behaviors and people keep Absolutely. doing checks and balances. And so again, optimization of the team players and right team players, not Absolutely. people because of their, their titles, the title holders may not be the right players. Absolutely, absolutely makes sense. Team members, not players, yeah. So we spoke about teams, members, and leaders, but what about, I mean, can we include stakeholders in the team diagnostic process? Uh, absolutely, you have the option of incorporating them or not, but they can add a tremendous amount of value. Uh, because they are either the the client or the, the the person who's doing the receiving. So you have the two lines, uh, one of the team leader, one of the team response is blue and red, and the dotted line is that of the stakeholders. So if we let's look at drive for results, mm -hmm. drive for results, you've got um, the, the blue and red are fairly close together, but the yeah. dotted line, of the stakeholder is right up on the Edge. outside ring. That's yes. right. Yes. So there's a huge problem of discrepancy there. And again, with team spirit and communication, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. those those are big gaps too. There's That's a few right. places where it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. If you look at team cohesion, cohesion is all pretty much together. Yeah, yeah. And um, what's another good one? Trust. Valuing diversity and trust yes so yeah. you get a tremendous amount of information and then you can do your team development mm -hmm. or your individual performance or your team performance management right. using some of this information great 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 it gives you a chance to to move rapidly but logically and sensibly okay and i've noticed here that it's available in arabic as well yes it is available in arabic as well and quite often what happens is people, um, you have a, a, a team that's uh, different nationalities, so you what people might do their uh, prison brain mapping inventory in Arabic because they're more comfortable in that, but we can pull up the whole report in English and or in Arabic. Great. Nicola, By the, this the, is, uh, the practitioner can. Okay, great. It's my Brilliant. pleasure. It's been a very informative session and once again, uh, You've uh, really explained how teams can benefit or organizations can benefit from uh, team exploration. Um, and, and I think it makes sense, not just in current times, but at all times. Uh, at, at all times. You exactly. need your people to be functioning towards their preferred behaviors because they will be more satisfied, more successful and happier. Excellent. And, uh, and if, you guys are if anyone is interested they, they can just go to start discovery they can press uh, the button here which will open the contact us page uh, and here you can select um, whether you're interested in the it's under custom programs whether it's team exploration or skills exploration uh, and send us a, a message and uh, you know we can contact you back and you know give you more information um, and uh, yeah so th that's it for uh, unscripted today uh, once again thank you for watching um, and stay safe stay positive uh, and we will catch you next time take care thanks Nicola and thanks, keep Nicola. exploring yeah. yeah keep exploring that that's the key word exploring you take care mm. bye bye thank you very bye -bye. much bye